Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Leaf to Leaf at Home. I'm Justin Hall and today we're going to be talking to my buddy Kyle Clifford. So let's see if we can get Cliff on the line here. While we're looking for him, I just want to remind you guys again, stay home if you can. Um, we're almost through this, but it's very important that we see it out to the end. And um, if we do that, then we're going to be in good shape. So let's see, Kyle Clifford, where is he? should also be noted that Cliff is in Muskoka right now. Um, his Wi-Fi and his data is a bit shaky, so we're going to do our best here. We'll see what happens. All right, where is he? There he is. Let's see. Hey, Holler. What's up, Cliffy? How you doing? I'm doing good. How you been? It's great to see you. I've been good. That's good. Where are you That's, at right now? We are up in uh, Muskoka, Ontario. So, yeah, so uh, you've been staying there the whole time, right? Yeah, pretty much the whole time. We we just moved into this house. Um, but, yeah, the kids got a lot of space to run around, and, um, you know, we're just finding things for them to do to, to keep busy. Very nice. So you just moved in, so it's a new place? It's a new place, yeah. yeah. Nice. Very nice. Is that going to be your full-time summer home? Uh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to hang our hat here for the summers and then, uh, go from there. Do you still have a place in LA or no? Yeah, we still have a place in LA. Uh, Dustin Brown's rented out from us. So. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. It's so nice. Maybe get back there when you can. And then if not, yeah. it'll be a cottage. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to keep it as a rental and, uh, yeah, just for an investment, but, uh, yeah, we'll, sure. we'll definitely pop down there and, and see those, uh, some of the old boys, uh, you know, every once in a while when, when we get a chance with the family. Absolutely. Not a bad area. No, no, no. A lot of sunshine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So who are you quarantining with? Right now, uh, I got uh, my wife, Paige, and uh, my three sons, Brody, Riker, and Cooper. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, we're kindly, uh, currently going through, like, their birthdays. Brody's was a couple weeks ago. Riker's was on the 4th. And then... We got Cooper coming up here on uh, May 21st. So. Oh, nice. So they're all yeah. around the same time, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's been uh, been a fun month. Um, a lot of Zoom birthday calls and, uh, you know, it's just, just been enjoying it with them and, uh, you know, trying to, to make it as special as possible for them. For sure. Well, it's got to be nice to spend some time with your family because we're always gone during the year and everything like that. So this little hiatus has to be kind of nice in some ways. Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, you know, the biggest thing is just, you know, take a step back. I know it, it kind of sucks being quarantined and, you know, having to, to do the social distancing. But at the same time, I'm uh, kind of looking at the positives and got a lot of time to, to spend with the kids that I don't normally necessarily get. Uh, you know, either, even in the summertime, we're doing a lot of training. So, um, yeah, exactly. you know, with them full time and, um, you know, we've been able to do some different things, fishing, a lot of yard work. Um, grandma and grandpa we were kind enough to buy them dirt bikes so they're gonna be ripping around on those and then uh oh, nice. yeah they're living the life yeah yeah they're 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 doing all right they're uh you know they're, they're making the best of it we're about uh I don't, have you heard of the show paw patrol uh not no 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 so it's a kid's oh, show paw patrol i actually yeah yeah there's yeah, like yeah. five dogs rescue dogs yeah and there's 182 episodes Oh, wow. And, so you're working your way through them or what? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're the third time through the 182. And oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's great. Good. Yeah, we've had a couple of Paw Patrol, Patrol uh, themed birthdays already. So uh, Yeah. Well, yeah, it seems like you're a big fan, so that's good. <laughs> I, I got to be. I got no choice. I'm kind of forced into it. Yeah, exactly. So you said you've been fishing and doing some other stuff. Uh, you guys been playing some games to pass the time or anything like that? Yeah, uh, we play a lot of snakes and ladders. Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to teach Brody Romeo, so okay. he's, he's kind of getting the hang of it. Uh, Is that a card game? Yeah, uh, no, it's it's like a tile rummy. It'd be hard to explain. Uh, Is it like, have you played Rummy Cube? No. Okay, well, maybe it's similar because it's kind of the same thing with tiles. I don't know. Could okay. Be maybe not. Yeah, but yeah, anyways, it's, yeah playing it, it, those. it's got tiles and numbers on it, and you you make uh, sets and yeah, you make like runs, like yeah. straights or same numbers. That's exactly it. Yeah, yeah, that's so exactly it. That's a great go. game. So we'll play when, when when we get back. Yeah, for sure. I got my own set, so you can come over and we can play. There we go. Um, 
So do you divide into teams when you're playing games, or is it usually just one-on-one with a different family member? It's, uh, it's usually me, Cooper, and Riker versus Brody. Because, uh, oh, nice. yeah, yeah every, everybody wants to be on daddy's team, and uh, Brody's kind of the only old enough one that can kind of play by himself. So Yeah, yeah. I feel well, bad for the guy. guy. Yeah, no, I, I feel bad for him. But, uh, yeah, no, we've been, we've been doing a lot of mini sticks too. Uh, oh, yeah. It's yeah, classic. Brody's undefeated. He's, he's got a few Stanley Cups already. <laughs> That's very um, nice. Yeah. Uh, but he kind of plays by his own set of rules. Oh, yeah? He, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's uh, I guess that's how you win that much, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not afraid to cheat a little bit. And... So, do you have a nice mini stick area in your house? Uh, we were using the garage a little bit, and now we uh, we just moved to the this outside deck. Oh, okay, nice. Let's see if I can flip this camera around here. Yeah, yeah. Give us a look at it. Yeah. So we just we just lined this up. Oh, yeah. Here. Nice big space. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah that's we got nice. Glass windows to avoid too. So. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So all the gym equipment's starting to come that that we ordered, so the garage is kind of getting taken up a little bit. Right. So you had to move the game a little bit. I remember when we were growing up, we would always judge like my buddy's houses on how good a mini stick area they had. You know, that's exactly. Like, it. They could have the nicest house of all time, but if they didn't have a good mini stick rink, it was like, oh, that's junk. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're working the kinks out in that area. Uh, yeah, we're not we're not confident enough to invite their friends over yet. Right, right. Well, we're yeah. getting there, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. But once we um, once we dial out the mini stick area, we'll we'll uh, and this quarantine gets lifted, we'll have a big mini stick party for all their their buddies. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, have you been doing any housework, any chores you've been putting off that you've been able to do now? Uh, well, just moving into a new house. I mean, there's there's been a lot to do to to keep us busy. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, the weather's starting to get nice, so we're, we're getting out and we're doing some yard work, um, you know, just pulling weeds, been cutting down some trees, getting some logs ready for, for summer bonfires and oh yeah, uh, just little things like that, leaf blowing, you know, yeah. your, your typical uh, summer chores just to, to get every house ready. Yep, living the cottage life. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's on your TV most of the time? What have you been watching? Paw Patrol. <laughs> Paw Patrol, yeah. I would love to watch uh, The Last Dance or, you know, some Tiger King, but I've been just glued to Paw Patrol. I, yeah, get... yeah. Well, maybe if you get through it a third time, you can move on. Or maybe you'll watch it a fourth time. Who knows? Yeah, Riker, Riker actually did watch two episodes of Power Rangers today, but then it didn't last. We went, we went back to Paw Patrol. A little bit of variety, but, you know, you got to stick with your recipe that works. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and speaking of recipes, have you been eating differently – um or what's your family specialty meal that you guys make the most often uh yeah so we uh we got this new new smoker here oh wow what weber barbecues i gotta give them a shout out they did they did a pretty good job um, yeah not a, not an ad no no it's not an ad i, I paid for it it wasn't free um, <laughs> um yeah no but we uh we've been dialing in a, a really good rib, rib recipe paige has got uh you know her grandma's barbecue sauce that she uses and uh oh wow yeah yeah so we we've had lots of ribs and Sounds delicious uh, yeah yeah and then for the birthdays we've uh we've actually drove into town and there's this uh, small little pizza joint called pizza one that we've been eating at in great oh, nice. yeah so we, we've been enjoying that a little bit too Nice. You just got a shout out from Mitchie on the chat for that side deal. Uh, Mitchie, king of side deals. It's always yeah. Mitchie's the king of side deals. Side deal guy. Yeah. Um, what are you most looking forward to doing when this is over? Uh, you know, just hopefully we get back playing and you know go on a Stanley Cup run here. Um, Absolutely. You know, there's definitely some uncertainty there, but with uh, you know whether we're going to play or not, and um, you know, fingers crossed. I just I just hope we get back and you know, get practicing and get back into game shape and then get ready for the playoffs. Absolutely. Well, hopefully we aren't too far away. We'll see. Yeah. Um, okay. At this point, I'd like to play a game with you. It's okay. called Two Truths and a Lie. Let me just grab my sheet here. I got my uh, talking points written down. Um, okay. So you obviously know how to play. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, so I, I didn't first. even think of my things first. So, so yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, but you go, you go, you go I'll first. I'll go first. Or I even yeah. can go two rounds. You know, we don't really need to learn that much about you. It's no big deal. Yeah, okay. 
No. Okay. All right. So here's my first one. Um, my first car ever was a 99 Jeep Cherokee Sport. I played hockey, lacrosse, baseball, and football growing up. Um, and I am a proficient concert pianist. Yeah, that's an easy one, the, the penis one. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I am not a proficient concert pianist. No, no. I play the you keyboard look like a little one, bit, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself that. No. So that's great. You nailed it. No. Um, do you want to go? Yeah, just, yeah I'll try one. Some things that you can um, think of. Yeah, yeah. So my first summer job was working at a farm and feed factory. Okay. Um, my first car was an Audi Q5, and I grew up in Air, Ontario. I'm going to say your first car was not an Audi Q5. Yeah, it's too bad. It would have been nice, though. It would have been great that to work around nice. high school. I was going to say, while well, you were living the life in uh, Audi, Ontario. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't have rich parents, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no car for me. Yeah, that's great. Okay, yeah. um, my next round. Uh, I wear number three because my favorite player growing up was Ken Danico. Uh, Sun Chips Garden Salsa are my favorite chip, and I am a college graduate. Yeah, you're a smart guy, so you definitely graduated. I don't, th I don't think you like the salsa chips. Oh, I love the salsa chips. Yeah. I didn't really care about Ken Danico. Shout out Ken Danico. Uh, yeah. I like you. I, I didn't really care that much. I just got, I wore three because I was assigned it. Yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. You go one more time? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm, perfect. Yeah. That was, that was uh, my bad. Okay. Sorry, bud. No, that's fine. That's completely understandable. I thought your your first three were so good that you didn't have to do another. Yeah, yeah. I thought I just knocked it out of the park. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, now it's time for the show and share. The show uh, and share. I understand yeah, yeah, that I you gonna, have some gonna, very, gonna... very special guests that may or may not want to be on. Yeah, I, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can warm them up a little bit. They were in the All middle right, of the patrol there. Sounds good. Right. Are the kids kicking around, Paige? Yeah. Where are they? Toy. They're in the toy room. In the toy room, baby. Yeah. Oh, here's one. You want to say hi to everybody? Hey, how's it going? Say hi. Say hi. Nope. Oh, yeah, we got a little <laughs> chipper here. Yeah. Right here, can you say <laughs> hi, Leaf Station? Hi. 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 <laughs> Brody, you want to say hi? Tell the Leafs fans. Can you say go, Leafs, go? Go, Leafs, go. Who do you want uh, to win the boy. Stanley Cup this year? Leafs. Who do you want to win next year? Leafs. What about the next 10 years? Leafs. And who's your favorite player? Austin Matthews. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. That is a good you one. You want to say your favorite player? Who's your favorite player? Daddy. Daddy. Yeah. yeah there it is. Nailed it. I thought we were going to say Justin Hall, but maybe not. Yeah. Maybe next time. No, they, they do love shut down defensemen. They're just <laughs> – Austin, <laughs> Austin Matthews scores a couple more goals. Yeah, it's hard to compete. Hard to compete sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's great. Um, thank you, Cliff, for coming on. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's great to see you. It's great to catch up with you. Hopefully, I see you soon in real life. Um, that would be fantastic, but we'll see. And then I just like to end it with, uh, thanking all the healthcare workers, all the frontline workers, um, everyone that's doing their job right now so we can stay at home safely. Um, everyone keep doing your part and we'll be through this sooner rather than later. So, um, thank you again, Cliff. Really appreciate it. Um, goodbye everybody.